Hi and welcome to the show. This is family friendly. I'm back, baby. Hey, logging on in the three minute zone. The vacation was great. I got a 10, my batteries are fully charged, and I really need some sleep, man. I'm so tired. God damn it. Vacations just wear me out. Get some sleep, man. Just five minutes, please. <sighs> Chuck is still not here, but on the bright side, he's not dead. Say hi, Chuck! Idiot. And now, the news. A third thumb. A what? Ever wonder what it would be like to have another thumb? No? Me neither. But a London-based designer has made a 3D printed, foot-controlled third thumb. And I know that your sick and disgusting minds are thinking this could revolutionize... Knitting. <sighs> disgusting. Nip was thinking about something else. Starts with master, ends with Bayesian. Danielle Claude, the designer behind the thumb. Danielle Claude? Is she related to Jean Claude Van Damme? I think she is. No! How many Claudes can there be? Anywho. Danielle Claude said this is not designed to replace a missing thumb, but to add the third one because. Why the hell not? <sighs> if I could only give three likes. Much better. You can use it to play cars, to swipe on your tablet, to grab balls. Don't. Don't. And you can even shove it up your... No. Don't. We already have foot control robotic arms, now a foot control thumb. Pretty soon you'll have stinky feet control your mind. Hmm, it's already happening. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. It's just a prototype, but Daniel is aiming at producing this and even more prosthetics that add capabilities. I know your dirty minds are thinking it would be very cool to have an extra... ear. You know, to hear better. Mm -mm. I was thinking of an extra d A spare d if you will. Finished early? No problem. Extra d to the rescue. Hoo, <laughs> Suzanne would just love it. I sure would. LED eyelashes. <sighs> what? Yep, it's a thing. Talking about enhancements, if all your mascara, lipstick, Botox or other shit that you put on your face are not enough to make you stand out, now you can put mini LEDs on your eyes because you're such a desperate little bitch. Maybe Suzanne could use a pair. She's not that pretty. What you say, Earl? Love you, honey. They are called flashes and they can turn your ugly face into a weird electric rave ugly face. They were created by Tian Pham and Davy Taylor, whose Kickstarter campaign almost tripled its goal and it still has one week to go. Flashes has a controller that you attach to the back of your head and LED lashes that are connected with wires to the controller. That should be so comfortable. They have different lighting effects and color options and you can get a pair that will be shipped next year if you pledge $40. I like innovation, but gluing LEDs to your eyes with wires that go all around your head, that's stupid. But hey, if you're so unattractive that you need this type of thing to get some hanky-panky, I'm not here to judge. Well, maybe just a little bit. LEDs don't make you interesting or attractive. You know what does? Your thoughts, your dreams, your aspirations. Get the f*** out of here. Oh my god, I just thought of something. Batman is wearing flashes under the mask. A phone made by RED. Well, this is actually amazing. RED is a high-end video camera producer and their equipment is in the top preferences of the Hollywood filmmakers. For example, RED cameras were used to film Fast and Furious 8, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and A Dog's Purpose, which is a film about a dog and his purpose. And that purpose is licking his own b****. Anywho, RED has announced that they will make the first holographic displayed equipped smartphone that can let you watch 3D content without glasses or a headset. That is some alien sh** right there. It's called Hydrogen One, it will be powered by Android and allow users to view <clears throat> traditional 2D content, holographic content generated by a new RED camera, stereo 3D content, augmented reality in 2D and 3D and a new H3O algorithm that converts stereo sound into expansive multi-dimensional audio for 3D content. Oh my god. What the hell of a language are you speaking? My head hurts. If they deliver what they promise, it will be epic. They will also have a red channel to upload or download holographic content. And yes, Hydrogen One will have a headphone jack. Oh, headphone jack. Oh, headphone. Oh, headphone. The Hydrogen One is set to be released in the first quarter of next year and it will be priced at $1,200 for the aluminum model and $1,600 for the titanium. 
Oh, ah, I feel the burn in my wallet. Shh, 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 shh. We're not buying one. You know I'm a cheap bastard. Relax. That's a lot of dollars, but maybe it's worth it. Who knows? Sixteen hundred dollars. Cool. Thanks. For that kind of money, I can get the Weber Genesis 2 LXS 440 grill. Best grill for the roadkill. This is the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment and tell us what do you think about the red camera, the flashes, or even the extra thumb. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers! Oh, I shouldn't have bought those lashes for Suzanne. Cause she's still ugly, but now she look like she had headlights. It creeped me the f*** out. What you say, girl? Love you, honey.